when we do this with the roller, don't get too close to the frames, okay? Just do the roller and then we'll trim it with, with a trim brush. I'm right? just gonna go right over your face. Hmm. Hmm. What's up nomads? Today uh, is gonna be a chill day. I think our objective is to find paint colors uh, for the RV. Match all of our things and we're bringing it with because there's like five million shades of white and we wanna make sure that it works. Yeah, exactly. And then I think if all things go well, we might try to start taking off the, the um, cabinet, um, what are they called, doors? Uh, is that what they're called? Yeah. Cabinet? Doors? Yeah, cabinet. Uh, we might take some of those off tonight if we have time, but the big objective is to nail in the Sherwin-William paint colors. And we're told we need to get Sherwin-William, um, what is it, durability? Yeah. Durability, I think is what it's called, the high quality paint. So let's go. I forgot the cabinet knobs. Gold. Well, we failed because Sherwin, Sherwin Williams, Williams closes at five. So instead, we're going to work on the RV inside. We're going to take out some cabinets, cabinet doors. So let us begin. So I think it's worth mentioning that I work for a company called Gripmap. They help keep your tools and hardware organized while you work. They've been really helpful so far in the renovations. Uh, we put a bunch of hardware on them while we're disassembling things and it helps so we don't you know, step on hardware. We can see where it all is. So these things rock. What do you think, Caroline? Honestly, I've seen grip mats all over the place and like I know what they're supposed to be used for, but they're like actually useful. And that's saying a lot coming from me. Yeah. So nothing goes anywhere. And also you're not damaging like the floor. When you drop something on the floor, um, you can just put it here so you're not scratching, which is really important because we're keeping these floors and I'm really paranoid that we're gonna scratch them up as we uh, get this renovation underway. So yeah. So cabinets are off, hardware is off, so that these are ready to sand and paint and all of that. So basically all we have to do is put some putty in the holes, in the walls, sand the walls, wash the walls, that's it. This is going much easier so far than expected, so I'm wondering what the hard part is going to be. I'm wondering if the painting's gonna be a pain. Yes. Or the cabinets. I already know the paintings. I think be the pain. carpet. I think the carpet's still a big question mark. That's something we could do tomorrow. Or we wait for the paint, like we talked about. What's up, nomads? We are getting paint today. For those that don't know, we are renovating Ruby. Rhubarb. And one of the large things you have to do when you're renovating is paint. paint. So today we're gonna to go to Sherwin 
Williams and find the best paint possible. We're not going to buy it today because we can get a discount a little bit later, but we're going to find the paint splotches. We're going to come home. We're going to decide on the color palette and like all those like weird undertones because it's going to be white mostly on the inside. And then tomorrow we're going to buy the paint. We're going to sand. We're going to wash the walls and we're going to paint. Maybe. Yes. So if you're looking into how to paint your RV, this is probably the video for you. So stay tuned and let's go find some paint. Kay. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. I think the paint job is going to be a difficult task for this renovation, but we will find out. Um, Sherwin Williams with our decorative face masks because Corona. Yeah. We're probably the only ones in Finley, Ohio that care. Yeah, we just drove by an Applebee's and there's just people eating inside, chilling like they've never had Applebee's before. Because that was a priority. But it's fine. We're going to go pick out our paint. And yeah. All right, pick up your tiles and your carpet square, oh, yeah, Caroline. Yeah, yeah, I got all my accessories to match our undertones. Mm, look mm. at that white and gray. expensive paint or more of the cheap stuff. Apparently there's different grades for sandpaper. This is a 80 grade. This is a 120. This one removes and this one smooths. Remove so we're removing smooth. Cleaners, oh god, I don't know. Getting the walls ready for paint, we believe we need to. I started doing it already, but I'm sanding down, sanding down any holes from when I messed up taking screws out of the wall, or any just random screws that we're not going to be putting back in. We're sanding down to be flush, and then um, we're putting a little bit of caulk in the holes, and then we're going to even it out, let it dry, and it should be ready for tomorrow. We're still debating if we want to completely um, sand the walls or not. I think we should. It feels feels really good. It's it sands down some of that crappy wallpaper. Um, I think Caroline's in the no sand boat, and uh, we'll see what we do tomorrow. But first steps first, get all these holes filled. We have begun sanding. Uh, Caroline's doing a great job sanding. You're learning how to use an electric tool, an electric sander. Look at her job. Look at that. So as you can see, talk us through what you're doing, Caroline. Um, we aren't like going really deep with the sander. It's just like a light graze so that it kind of 
gets a little stickier for the paint because this wallpaper is really weird. It's like textured, but it's wallpaper, but it's also like kind of part of the wall. So yeah. I think it's looking wonderful. And then we've been uh, testing out the cabinets as well. We don't know how deep to go, but we're just kind of, what do I? I mean, we're going to be painting it, so who knows? So I got to figure this cabinet out. I didn't realize this cabinet was a thing, so I got to figure it out. All right, I didn't show it because it took so long, but I finally got this. Here, let me show you. That table out from right here because we're going to put a, a massive uh, desk area over here so we're going to have to build like a little safety box for the wires right But uh, we're almost done sanding all the, the cabinet things. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we already have the walls done. Good job, Carolyn. And um, once we're done with the cabinets, it's on. We, we pause the cleaning the walls till we get this done. And then we're going to clean everything because it's, it's dusty and gross. And then maybe we might start priming. TBD. So. Also, masks very helpful because of Corona, but also Ooh. dust. We are now washing the walls so that we can paint. And I think this is the biggest question mark of the whole thing is the cleaner and if we're doing it right, TSP, it doesn't really seem like it's any big deal of a thing, but we're doing it. We're wiping stuff down. Even if it's just to like get the dust off, the sawdust off and the, make it wet and get stuff to stay and then we'll dry it and uh, then we'll do the primer. We are, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna wash it, dry it, prime it, paint it, and then we're gonna wash it and there's dust on it and we're just gonna wash it all off and yeah. All right, we are ready to begin priming while I finish the bedroom area. So Caroline's gonna start. We are with rollers and Sherwin-Williams primer as well as the paint that we're gonna be using. Uh, so Caroline, when we do this with the roller, don't get too close to the frames, okay? Just do the roller and then we'll trim it with, with a trim brush. I'm All just right? gonna go right over your face. Hmm. That feels good. What a fantastic job. I am an artist. Artist. <laughs> Is that what you're supposed to do to doors? Probably not. What's up, nomads? It is another day, and this evening we're going to get the first coat started on all the white in the RV. We're going to start with the office area right here and see if we can work over to the slide. As you can see, the carpet is now out. And I think that makes the 
audio in here a little more bouncy right now. So uh, we're going to get started. I hope that it doesn't take too many coats for this because the primer took forever. So there's so many nooks and crannies. It takes forever. And uh, I just, I'm not a fan of painting anymore. It was fun for the first like 10 minutes. So let's get started. Let's get the generator out here so we can get some tunes and lights and stuff going and lay everything out and get the paint rolling. Literally. Got a new roller. Ready to go on that. We got Duration Sherwin Williams paint. This is going to be Ice Cube White. So it's a little off-white and it has more of like a mattier yellow undertone, I believe. I could be wrong, uh, but I think it's going to be perfect. The black is what I'm worried about, so we'll see about that. But um, I'm going to get this opened and then we're going to start over here and see how it goes. So I got the new thing, got a new one of these, I'm going to change that out. This is the primer. And we're going to get started. Oh, baby. I'm super excited. This is already looking really hopeful. I don't know if you can tell. That's the paint versus like the prime. Paint, prime. It's exactly the motivation I need to keep going. It is looking stellar. Wow, paint really transforms everything. The primer made it look lighter. The white paint is changing it from a camper to a house. What's up, nomads? Today is a new day and we are finishing coat number one of white. It is turning out really, really well, but we have realized that we definitely are gonna need a second coat of white. But before we go to bed, before we finish the day, Caroline and I are very impatient. We want to see what the black cabinets are gonna look like. So I have gone ahead and opened up Mr. Iron Core, Iron Ore, whatever, and uh, mixing it up here. You can tell it's like super, viscous and i think that's because it's a matte finish where the white is i think a satin finish so we wanted to have the little matte cabinet finish we're going to see how it goes so tune in and find out Today we're doing the cabinets, so we've taken them all out of the RV, but now I'm trying to figure out where exactly they go. Um, so I'm trying to reconfigure where they were in the RV to determine which color they're going to be. So I'm labeling them right now. And then we're going to sand them, wash them, prime, and paint. Hopefully all today, but there's a lot, so I don't know. Okay, so Ian always tends to be doing something or really busy every time that we need to sand something, um, which is fine. I feel like I'm doing a good job of everything. 
um, but he's at the store right now. And I just finished all of the cabinets in a very meticulous manner. So I went through and labeled all of these cabinets, where they're going, and then also what color they're gonna be. Laid them all out so they're sanded, ready to be cleaned and painted. What's up Nomads? It's another evening during the week and my battery's about to run out, but um, I am priming all the hardware with some Rust-Oleum primer and then we're going to paint all of the hardware, I think, black uh, for the cabinets. So I'm going to get that started. All right, shaking it. Now it's time to apply the first priming coat. Oh yeah, this takes me back to priming airplane parts. 